Hi, I'm Richard Holcomb, and welcome to Who Rocks New Mexico. Today you'll meet some lovely folks living at Beehive Homes and see why we call them America's greatest generation. Then we'll spend some time with Paul and Mariano Chavez of Valley Fence, mixing faith, family, and fencing into one of New Mexico's most successful companies. Then we'll tour New Mexico's newest and most up-to-date medical facility, UNM's Sandoval Regional Medical Center. If you're starting a small business or you own your own, there's an organization here in town that can really help you achieve success. Let's check out the Albuquerque Hispano Chamber of Commerce. So as the president and CEO, uh, I oversee the, the work of the Albuquerque Hispano Chamber of Commerce. I work closely with the board of directors. We're small business advocates, and uh, we also are involved in education, workforce training, and convention tourism. Even though we're a Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, uh, many of our members are not Hispanic-owned businesses. Our membership is, uh, I'd say, about 35% non-Hispanic business owners. The Albuquerque Hispano Chamber of Commerce encourages all business owners to join the chamber. We definitely want to help all business owners here in the community grow. The chamber has become like a family. There are such wonderful people to work with that they're always looking for opportunities for business people to get our name out. We get a lot of referrals from the chamber. A lot of business people call us up for a line of credit, a small business loan. We do two or three business startups a month. And a couple of those come from the, from the Hispano Chamber. Although we started out as small business advocates 40 years ago, uh, somewhere along the way, uh, six or seven years into that, uh, somebody decided that we needed to be part of education. We are very um, committed to education in New Mexico, particularly here in Albuquerque. We raise money and award high school seniors, very deserving high school seniors, scholarships every year. We've raised uh, close to $1.7 million in scholarships over the past 37 years. So I've been teaching classes on Microsoft Office, um, not only to members of the Hispano Chamber of Commerce, but also members of the community. The ultimate goal is to get people more aware of how technology works and to accept it more into their lifestyle, um, really to prepare them to, to go out and look for employment or to possibly have them upgrade their skills to, to possibly move up in their current job. I'm also involved with the Comcast Digital Connectors programs. Um, we go out to a local high school here and we teach a class on um, called IT Essentials. We're preparing these kids for the future. I mean, these kids are the future leaders and with technology, the way that it's advanced here in the last five years, we really try to have to play catch up to keep them involved with it so that we become the front runners in education and technology like we used to be years ago. The scholarships that they provide for the young kids um, and everything else they do, the training for, for uh, employees of companies that need computer training, that need um, office skills, those kinds of things. The Chamber's been a great resource for a lot of my customers and it's been fun to introduce my customers to the Chamber. I oversee the Convention and Tourism Department. Our main job is to bring in conventions and tourism to the city of Albuquerque. So the fantastic thing about working here at the Hispano Chamber is that we have this um, culture and heritage that not only the Hispano Chamber has been built on, but much of the same idealisms that the city's been, been built on. And so we really do utilize that to go out to reach other conventions that Maybe you're going to other cities and don't really understand what Albuquerque has to offer. We reach out to them, we bring them back to the city, we show them what we can do for them and how hospitable our city really is. And the Albuquerque Hispano Chamber of Commerce is very proud of what we've accomplished in the community and we're very proud to, to say that we provide resources and tools for small businesses and individuals to, to succeed. The, the feeling that I get of giving back, it's important to me to work somewhere that that I feel like what we do makes a difference and I see that all the time here at the Chamber. It takes all of us to really uh, work for this Chamber 
and really on behalf of education, on behalf of small business, and trying to, at the end of the day, uh, give back to the community and create uh, uh, a better place for all of us. A lot of places rock our state too. Here's another Travel Guide New Mexico moment. TRC is really a desert community and you're not used to seeing all this green. I almost feel like I'm in the jungle somewhere. But we're at the Sierra Grande Lodge and Spa and we're gonna show you something absolutely fantastic inside. Well, Sazi, it really is all about the hot springs, isn't it? It is. This water is, is what makes this place truly incredible. We are fortunate enough to sit on an underground aquifer of this hot spring water. It naturally comes up at 105 to 107 degrees and it's so full of beneficial minerals. It's one of the top 10 mineral contents of the world. We have four tubs in the spa area, some outside, some inside, and they're all private. Here, the, the soaking experience is just you and whoever you choose to have with you. We just want this water to be available in as luxurious and comfortable a setting as we can create. Well, Sazi, in addition to the hot springs, you offer a lot of other services too, don't you? Yes, we do. We, we are really fortunate to have an amazing array of spa services that we offer in addition to the healing waters. And all of the services start with, with soaking in the waters, which really enhances the benefits. All of our products that we use for the body treatments come from New Mexico, and they're all organic. And it all just works hand in hand to offer the, the biggest benefit. It's incredible. The, the stories and the, the touching stuff that happens here, it's really, really fantastic. Almost magical, isn't it? It is almost magical. In fact, I think it might be. <laughs> well, Sazi, when I think of a spa, I think of a day spa, a place to come for a day. But after looking around here, you could come here and spend a lot more than just a day. Absolutely. It's so nice to come and spend the night, spend a few nights, and really allow the waters to relax you, the treatments to relax you, and not think about a thing. Well, Sazi, I bet I've driven by here a hundred times and didn't realize this was here. Thanks so much for showing us around. Thank you so much. It was really so a pleasure much. to be it here. It has been. And this is the Sierra Grande Lodge and Spa. You've got to look for it when you come to TRC, but you definitely want to spend some time here. Coming up, high tech and high touch. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson, the owner of American Tire and Service. Do you know what makes a great mechanic? Training is mighty important. Certification, you bet. But do you know what really makes a great mechanic? Heart. It's a passion that drives the mechanic to do the right thing every time. We've been helping people like you for over 25 years. We're locally owned and proud to serve you. American Tire and Service on Highway 528 between Southern and Northern. The only guys for you. Hi, I just saw Robert Wagner on television reading a script about reverse mortgages. You know, Robert doesn't know anything about reverse mortgages, but I do. Every month at Frost Mortgage, we loan hundreds of thousands of dollars to seniors to eliminate their mortgage payments for the rest of their lives. How much better would your life be if you didn't have a mortgage payment to make next month? If you're 62 or older, give us a call and we'll show you how this wonderful mortgage program works. Let's check out Rio Rancho's latest state-of-the-art medical facility. As you can see, SRMC is just a beautiful uh, hospital with a great setting. Uh, our patients love to come out here, uh, especially those that spend the night and have inpatient stays. The views of the mountains are beautiful. And uh, we combine state-of-the-art operating rooms, intensive care units, and uh, hospital rooms uh, to get uh, healing for our patients. In everything we do here at UNM Sandoval Regional Medical Center, the patient is always our number one priority. That includes providing expert emergency and trauma care. The ER, it's a brand new facility that being new and bright and welcoming uh, is an excellent way to receive patients into the system. Patients can be triaged by a nurse and evaluated very quickly and then brought back to a room and seen by a physician in a very timely fashion. Sandoval Regional Medical Center was built with 
six state-of-the-art operating rooms, including a Da Vinci robot. Uh, we also, the rooms were built so that we could accommodate bariatric surgery, and they were built specifically several rooms for orthopedic, including joint replacement surgery. Orthopedics is uh, a specialty to get people back in function, whether it's with their hands, walking, using their arms, that's what we do. The very same staff that would provide your care as a patient after having surgery in our hospital also provides the same care for you as an outpatient in our outpatient facilities. We feature state-of-the-art machines and have the most therapeutic view in the Rio Rancho Valley. So another outstanding feature at Sandoval Regional Medical Center is that we have the only inpatient geriatric psychiatry unit in the state. And this is a unit where we can take care of both the medical and the psychiatric needs of older patients age 55 and older, whether it's a, a medical problem, surgical problem, or a psychiatric issue such as severe anxiety or depression or dementia. It can all be taken care of in one unit dedicated to that. We're able to provide superb medical care for the patients who do come to our facility, and that's what matters. Sandoval Regional Medical Center is also distinguished by its state-of-the-art radiology and imaging capabilities. Quite literally, the best in the state. And when it comes to CT scans, we're the only hospital that combines an open scanner with ambient lighting, allowing patients to select their favorite room-filled colors and scenes, which greatly minimizes anxiety. At first, I felt like really nervous about the big machine and everything, until they turned the room my favorite color, which is blue, and there's really cool pictures on the wall, which make me feel really good about everything. Helping our patients relax, feel comfortable, and be well informed is integral to our healing process here at UNM Sandoval Regional Medical Center. And when you combine our patient-first focus with state-of-the-art facility, the best technological advances in the state, and incomparable care by a team that puts you and your health first. It's clear to see Sandoval Regional Medical Center is a hospital unlike any other. Best of all, it's your hospital. There are many dentists around New Mexico, many of whom offer similar services. So what makes Dr. Greg Lepore of Smiles by Design so different? Well, you're about to see. You know, we have an idea of health that we want each person to have because we know how important oral health is. But oftentimes they don't necessarily want to go there right away. They, they want to go at their pace. And so I always say that we're the navigators um, and they're the captain of the ship. I've been a patient of uh, Greg Lepore's for uh, three to four years. He did total mouth reconstruction on me. Smiles by design have given me my smile back and give me uh, confidence to uh, get in front of people again and uh, not sit, but be uh, so ashamed of my smile and, and uh, the uh, bad teeth that I had at one time. I'm Marcy Cates and I'm a retired dental hygienist. After years of going through reparative dentistry, having crowns replaced, fillings replaced, with crowns, broken crowns, I knew there was a better way. I went to see a prosthodontist, um, an orthodontist, and several dentists. And strangely enough, they referred me back to Dr. Lepore. You know, I have to say, I really enjoy coming to work every day. Ultimately, it's because of the patients, you know, to have the interaction with them and to enjoy them. And I know it sounds cliche-ish, um, but that is why we're here. You know, if we don't have the patients, there's no reason to come to work. Up next, oh, give me land, lots of land under starry skies above. Just fence me in. you to First Tuesdays, a networking event created specifically for business owners and executives. Giving you the opportunity to interact on a personal level with business people just like you. Mark your calendar for every First Tuesday in 2014. 430 to 630 at Hotel Albuquerque's Q Bar for free hors d'oeuvres, happy hour cash bar, and networking with fellow business owners and executives. It's new, it's social, it's your opportunity to make new connections, build relationships, and 
share new ideas with your peers. No pressure, no speakers, no roster, and no rules. And name tags with first names only, so the focus is on you rather than your company. It's First Tuesdays for business owners and executives, 4.30 to 6.30 at Hotel Albuquerque's Q-Bar. To register, visit firsttuesdaysabq.com. Be there! Need office space? 3791 Southern Boulevard in Rio Rancho represents an outstanding value in office space in the heart of Rio Rancho's business district. With clean and versatile space available, 3791 Southern Boulevard is a two-story office building and offers good visibility with signage opportunities for tenants. There's only one suite of up to 2,700 square feet still available, so act now. For more information, call David at 505-259-3706. Chavez family of Valley Fence has built their business for over 40 years, one fence at a time. I started the company in 69. I actually was born here in New Mexico, but I had been in, in the West Coast in California for a while, and then came back here and actually opened this fence company here. And it's been good, you know, it wasn't easy because all you had at that point is just a, a truck and a wheelbarrow. You know, my father did the hard, did the hard work. He, he, he got it off the ground, started it from nothing, uh, as he was saying back in 1969. We've been working together for so long that he's actually become my friend. So it, it's good. It is good. I've known Paul since I was six years old. That's around 48 years that we've been friends and we ended up being co-workers. Um, I met him many years ago when they first started Valley Fence back in 1969 when we were both little kids and um, we still know each other to this day we still work with each other and we're still friends. You do become a, a family and uh, and we've had our employees a lot of our key employees for years and years we couldn't be where we're at today without our employees a close-knit uh, they become more than just employees they're family. We get around at that we were, we're the, like the fencing supermarket of the Southwest. And we're proud of it. We hang our signs everywhere. If you drive anywhere in this city, in this state, you're going to see a Valley Fence sign. We're pretty proud that we've done almost every bridge in, uh, in, the, in I-40 and I-25. A lot of the decorative type fences you see on these bridges, the Valley Fence has done them. We do lots of uh, big work. Uh, we like the big work. You know, we're excited about that and being uh, statewide and in the surrounding states, uh, but we've always uh, tried to keep in touch with, uh, with the residential side of it. We've always kept the residential because it's what uh, got us started. Fencing is sort of a security type of thing anyway. People want to keep their dogs in and want to you know, keep their houses safe and so on, and that kind of thing. And so so it, it, it's, a, it's an easy way to get to, to know people. I absolutely love it, love it. I think it, it gives the uh, entire property in the house a totally different character that uh, maybe other style of fences wouldn't necessarily provide. We feel we can give back and continue to give back to our community on the residential aspect and be a, a service to them in that area. When you're born and raised uh, here in New Mexico as we were and uh, have our roots here, uh, so we're involved with the community, we appreciate the community, we know that we're here because of the community. On an average year, uh, different kinds of fence, we do over 100 miles a year. So that'll kind of give you an idea. Uh, you're talking bob wire or chain link or uh, woven wire game fence, uh, guardrail, whatever it may be. And so it's miles and miles and miles of, uh, of fence work. We do a lot of work for the city, for the state highway department, some notable projects that we did with Valley Fence included Tower Pond Community Park, the North Domingo Baca Community Park, and the New Mexico Veterans Memorial at Phil Chacon Park. All of our projects are procured either through competitive bid or a selection process. So we knew that we were getting the best price for the scope of work that we were asking for. This is a great facility here in the Valley and we are, we're, we're proud that we were able to have a part in working with the city on this project. We got four different fields and batting cages, and just up in the corner, there's also a skate park. One of the other products that we're really proud that we worked on was the New Mexico Veterans Memorial. 
It's a beautiful tribute to the New Mexico veterans. Obviously, price is an important component for us doing work. But in addition to that, we got people who were reliable, dependable, who provided a quality product and good service to their customers. Appreciate the customers, appreciate the people. Because as I said, you know, the people around you is what makes the company. You can only provide the service. And if you don't do, and if you don't provide a good service, of course you're not going to be around very long. And we've been here for 40 some odd years, so obviously <laughs> we're doing something right. Up next, compassion, dignity, and a loving home. Have you thought about taking a great vacation to a great place with a great group of people? Then I have the perfect trip for you. The Tourism Association of New Mexico invites you to join us for nine glorious days in Costa Rica, October 11th to the 19th. This is a once in a lifetime experience that takes you to San Jose, a coffee plantation, beautiful beaches, the Monte Verde cloud forest, not to mention the world famous hanging bridges, the Arenal volcano, and a Lake Arenal cruise. What more? How about the Cano Negro Wildlife Refuge, the capital city, and the unforgettable National Theater? And did I mention beautiful beaches? This invitation is open to all of you, and I hope you'll join me on a trip I've wanted to take for a long time, Costa Rica in October. I'll be there and hope you'll come along too for an unforgettable adventure. For more information and registration information, visit TANMCostaRicaAdventure.com. That's TANMCostaRicaAdventure.com. We'll have a blast in Costa Rica, so join us October 11th to the 19th. Hi, I'm Doug Wilson with American Tire and Service. Did you know any independent, reputable automotive repair center can provide factory scheduled maintenance under your new vehicle warranty? It's true, you don't need to go to the dealer. You know us, you trust us. So check your owner's manual for scheduled maintenance and let your guys at American Tire do the rest. Engine maintenance, transmission, tire rotation, any scheduled maintenance. American Tire and Service, your guys for all your vehicle maintenance and repairs. See us today. What you don't need when it's time to close your mortgage is a nameless, faceless voice at the other end of a 1-800 number. What you do need is a licensed, local loan officer who will attend your closing, sit with you and answer every one of the questions that you will surely have as you read and sign over 57 legal documents. At Frost Mortgage, we're licensed, we're professional, and we're local. We don't just close loans, we open doors. As we and our loved ones age, it's heartwarming to know that there are caregivers like Beehive Homes, providing a compassionate, loving environment for the elderly to live in dignity. Oh, it was uh, an evening fellowship and uh, what I thought was, there is nobody like her. Well, there was a special magnetic uh, attraction. <laughs> oh my, yes. <laughs> it wasn't long, and after I talked to him, then I kind of knew he was special. We had never been apart since 1951 when we got married. Back in March of 2011, we went for a checkup and they explained that he would do better in a facility where there was medical care. He lived in the nursing home and I stayed in the condo back here and would drive to see him every day. That was the first Christmas we had been separated. So that was uh, kind of a rough time. She has been such a, a kind and loving trooper. 
we had a little trouble finding the assisted living places, one that would take both of us, because uh, it's, it's a challenge for them to take husband and wife. This place provides uh, us to be able to do that. We really were tickled when they said we could live together. We were kind of uh, used to being together, and so it, it had to work. <laughs> and it has, yeah. Care for me is uh, to live with my husband. Care is living face to face and day by day with my wife. Care is beehive homes. The New Mexico Sinus Institute is changing the lives of New Mexicans who suffer from sinus issues. The New Mexico Sinus Institute was founded in Los Alamos, New Mexico in 2009 with the vision of bringing health care to all New Mexicans, including rural areas where specialists are scarce. Owner and founder Dr. Ian Alexander is one of the nation's top sinus surgeons and a leading authority on balloon sinus dilation. Many of the procedures I do, probably 80% of them can be done in the office now. A lot of the sinus surgery, which traditionally was a surgery that you were overnight in the hospital, had lots of packing in your nose, and everyone talks about how horrible it was, is now just a little 20-minute procedure that we do in the office. A lot of patients uh, will come in. I have uh, some that will come in after work, will do the procedure, and the next day they're back at work. Balloon sinus dilation is a minimally invasive treatment option that can be performed in the office that opens sinus pathways so that they can drain properly. The procedure uses a small balloon placed in key places in the nose and sinus, which when dilated, expand the sinus pathways. This simple 15-minute procedure is changing the lives of New Mexicans who suffer from sinus issues. It's transformed my life uh, a total of 180. I can't believe that I uh, have lived this long with uh, being in such discomfort. And actually, I didn't realize how much discomfort I was in until after the procedure. I got it done and uh, right here in the office and I didn't have any of the hassles of being in the, in the hospital. I've been able to breathe through my nose, which I haven't been able to do that for a very long time. Uh, my migraines have really just pretty much stopped and I don't have like a lot of the allergy and uh, symptoms and the sinus pressure that I did have before. I think the, the field is wide open and, and we're going to expand to where most of our procedures will be done in the office and save those health care costs of having to go to the hospital in the afternoon. The New Mexico Sinus Institute has expanded to five clinics throughout the state, Rio Rancho, Los Alamos, Taos, Roswell and Hobbs, bringing ear, nose and throat care directly to patients. For more information or to schedule an appointment, call 1-855-81-SINUS. That's all the time we have this week on Who Rocks New Mexico. I hope you enjoyed the show as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. And when you're out and about this week, if you see our men and women in uniform, stop them and be sure and thank them for their service. If you'd like more information on the folks you saw on today's show, check us out on the web at whorocksnm.com. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you next week.